There are well more than enough review videos documenting people's experiences at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in Costa Rica. This video intends to do some of that, but communicates to people who are skeptical of experiences there coming from one person who holds himself out as having some overdeveloped critical thinking skills to the rest of you who may be looking into going to an ayahuasca retreat center or going to Rhythmia and maybe on the fence. First and foremost, my experience at Rhythmia was very, very positive. I get nothing from telling you this. In fact, I may endure more ridicule and criticism for putting this video out there. Plant medicine and ayahuasca aren't necessarily commonly accepted ways to improve your mental health in North America yet. So people may see this and it may diminish my credibility with some people that I actually know and care about. That said, I can't stress this enough. I had a very positive experience at Rhythmia. It was between there and a couple other places in Costa Rica, all of which I think I could have had positive experiences had I gone there. But Rhythmia topped my list. I felt most at home there, and I'm so glad I went to Rhythmia. So I want to start by speaking to a couple of the criticisms I see of Rhythmia and going and doing something like an ayahuasca retreat. First of all, there are a couple people that make videos and probably make some money, not much, but some money, criticizing ideas and content out there, such as doing ayahuasca. Of those, some people refer to doing ayahuasca as getting high. It is not. There's a difference between getting high and a trip. Getting high implies an experience of continued positive emotions for a longer period of time than is normal because of ingesting an exogenous substance, something that comes from the outside of your body. That is not what a trip on any psychedelic is always reliably like, nor is it what doing ayahuasca is like. An ayahuasca trip is usually very difficult, it comes with periods of desperation, listlessness, hopelessness, even some periods that feel like you're going to die. But what you can glean from it can be very beneficial. So anybody that calls an ayahuasca trip a high probably hasn't done it before and doesn't really deserve to be looked at as an expert or having any credibility in talking about it. The second thing, Rhythmia is a startup, a place that's only been open for less than 10 years. So there are some reviews on the internet, true or untrue, that are going to take issue with some aspects of people's experiences there. I can't speak to the truth or falsity of those points that people make in some of the less than flattering reviews about Rhythmia, but I can say that it is bound to happen if over 17,000 people are customers or guests of a place. One or two or 10 or 100 people are going to have maybe one negative thing to say about it. It's not to make light of anything really drastic that might have happened to somebody there. I don't know that it did. I'm just saying that because it's a startup, they're going to have growing pains of how they work their experience and how they've perfected administering ayahuasca ceremonies. We're bound to have some times when they're going to iterate and improve based on what certain people have experienced there. Ayahuasca is not for the faint of heart. It's not for people to go and feel good the whole time they're doing it. It's not going to be an easy thing. It's not going to be pleasant the whole time. And because of that, I've seen some reviews when I was doing my homework deciding where to go, which talked about some things that actually are very common under the spell of ayahuasca and pointing out those things as if to say they were problems that Rhythmia caused. And not saying Rhythmia is perfect, but a lot of them talked about people running around during ayahuasca ceremonies. That happens. Talked about people taking their clothes off during ayahuasca ceremonies. That too can happen. It's an ayahuasca ceremony, and that's why they have the staff that they have there that is ready to tend to things that in almost any other context would be very unflattering. My experience there, again, was extremely positive. I went through most of the stages of doubting and thinking about maybe I should go somewhere else or maybe I shouldn't do this before I went there because, again... I have a very pretty developed critical thinking muscle through my education and thought twice about going there. 
There are a few things that stick with me most before I show you part of my documented experience as distinguishing Rhythmia from any other place I've been before. The thing that sticks out most was the fact that I was so looked after, so cared for at any point in time during or outside of ayahuasca ceremony. During the ceremony, if I had difficulty with anything at all, I could raise my hand at any time and someone would run to me and, and talk to me. And sometimes they would just say like, you're going through it. Just keep going, keep being the witness. And that was all I needed to hear to know that I'm all right. I don't need to talk to somebody about this now. I just need to go through it. Sometimes I wanted to tell people about my experience while I was going through it in a good way. And they were there for that too. People would just sit and listen. Additionally, I had one night where it was very, very difficult and I could not control myself. Talking to people, running around, yelling, and confronting people that I had no issue with, and they took me outside. And that's exactly what they should have done. So if this is kind of like if a kid's parent sends them to play tackle football, knowing it's a really rough sport, and then takes issue when their kid gets tackled or hit in the head with another kid's helmet. It's like, you signed up for tackle football. So doing ayahuasca is not something that you should take lightly or do with any, any lack of respect or reverence for. The last thing I'll say before sending you off and, and coming back is that ayahuasca is medically licensed. It has, I think, two different distinctions that allow it to, as they say, operate legally in the location that they operate in. I don't know why. I don't know exactly how I've taken their word for it. Because one, no one gets arrested that I know of for going there and doing ayahuasca. If it were so illegal, they probably would get shut down because they're so widely advertised in public. The last thing was that I felt very looked after the whole time I was there. There is a 24-hour medical clinic on site at Rhythmia. So if at any time anyone's having an issue, they can go to the medical clinic and get whatever kind of treatment they can as long as it's not contraindicated with the ayahuasca. I had trouble sleeping while I was there because that's what ayahuasca does. I went to the clinic and I got a little magnesium and was able to nap a little bit during the days of ceremonies. Without further ado, I'm sending you off to my time there. I'm going to do a voiceover for this video, just describe briefly my experience and then come back and talk, talk to you a little bit more. Here begins the voiceover. That is the sight out of my window shortly before arriving in Liberia and have to be picked up by a contracted taxi driver to take me to Rhythmia with that trail mix you just saw. Here's the ride from Liberia Airport to Rhythmia and then we pulled up. I finally was had arrived. I felt like the day had finally come and I felt like I was the only person there because of the way they treated me. They greeted me at this table to get me acquainted, gave me my gift bag, which included this water bottle and shot glass for the ayahuasca, and then showed me this thorough calendar. Yoga every morning before and after ceremony, very important to make it. And even if there wasn't anything on the schedule, there were so many amenities like these cold and hot plunge pools. And all the other things you see here were on the schedule. There was a beach day, two beach days later in the week. A very thorough workout center for what anyone could probably bring the energy up to do because it was so taxing the whole week we were there. And then there's additional, this volcanic, volcanic mud treatment that included getting in the cold and the hot tubs getting in the steam room that I'm about to show you now. I did that a couple days, but it wears you out. Here we have the pool. It's a saltwater pool right next to the restaurant, which was incredible. It was mostly vegan. It had chicken and fish. And now you hear Here from are some me. of my first impressions. It's better than I thought. I had a lot of, not trepidation about being here, but hesitation because the way things are described in marketing materials and the way things actually are can sometimes be different, but so far it's been great. There were a few hiccups. There's one at the airport where they weren't there when I got there, but it was because my flight was delayed. I'm walking around the property right now, trying to be quiet because everyone's sleeping and I'm not adjusted to the time change. And it's really beautiful. I can hear all the wildlife in the jungle it's right over that fence. Yes. My impressions are that it's great. They get you right into it. We did breath work last night. That was in the same room as we'll have the ceremonies. It was really good to get, get used to everybody. And get used to people screaming and moaning and making noise and moving around in a breath work setting. My room is probably about like you'd expect from a three-star American hotel. It's fine. I've got a roommate. I'm really glad I actually have a roommate. 
this morning I've got to do some orientation because there's space in the calendar for free time, but there's really not a ton. It'll keep me from just sitting around and wondering what's going to happen. Those are my first impressions. This is video of my walk from my room to the front desk. That front building is the front desk. It's kind of the center of operation for all gas. You can go there at any point in time, 24 hours a day, and get what you need. Someone's there, someone can help you. They'll drop everything and they'll help you. And then behind that's the Maloka. They tell us every night to take a picture of ourselves after ceremony. So this is a picture of me. I kind of look like I've been run over. And then they also tell you to dump out your cup after you clean it out after every ceremony and give it back to the earth. So that's me doing that. Who am I to not do that? One of the most pleasurable parts of being at Rhythmia is the food. The food is compliant with the dieta so you don't get sick or get a stomach bug while you're under the influence or ingesting ayahuasca. And the food's incredible. It reminded me of a scene from that movie Hook in which they imagine this buffet or meal with everything they could ever imagine. Here is a walk alongside the Maloka. This is the place where everything happens. All the ceremonies, yoga, breath work, all of the events of note happen there. One of the most surprising and amazing things about the Maloka is how spotless and sanitary they keep it. I don't know how they do it. They have these ayahuasca ceremonies that last well into the morning and you get up and go to yoga at 7 a.m. the next day and it looks like nothing ever happened there. I don't know how they do it, but I was glad they did. They keep it spotless and it's incredible. It's got two wings on the side in the center room. You can go out here and lay on the hammocks at any point, but really during the ceremony. Here's the inside of the Maloka right before Say yoga. Hi. There's two of the friends I made and I'm still in touch with. One of the coolest things about Rhythmia is how easy it is to make friends and lasting connections. Here is a scene from a shamanic wedding. I thought this was really cool. Two people that were guests got married after the last ceremony. Here's a tree that just was amazing and had green fluorescent stripes. And there's a picture of me right after the last ceremony. There you have it. That documents at least part of my experience at Rhythmia. And hopefully you can see why I had such a positive experience and have positive things to say. Wanted to emphasize again that ayahuasca is not for everyone. If you find yourself being overly skeptical and think this is bullshit or this is stupid or any of the like, this probably just not for you. One thing ayahuasca did for me, at least on this visit, this round of ceremonies, was soften my position towards things that I'm not really into. It's really easy in America to get caught up in the extremes, to rail against, and put a lot of attention into kind of the other side of things, the things that you're not for, because it's so widely available on the internet. It's almost like we watch one video of something that we stand against and we get 50 others. To me, a more peaceful existence involves just not bothering with things that aren't really a part of me and don't really affect my life and I have no influence over. So for whatever that's worth, this has softened my position towards things that I'm not really a part of. And so if that's you, I hope that resonates. Additionally, if you see this and you think, well, that guy's an idiot for going and doing that and spending all that money, well, it's probably not for you. And I would encourage you to take your focus elsewhere. Don't watch my videos. It's fine. No hard feelings at all. I'm going back to Rhythmia. I haven't signed up yet, but I have plans to go back and do all the things that the program takes you through because I know that there's more work to do and I know my life could be enhanced in a way that I'll get a solid return on my investment for paying the guest fee to stay there for another week. I'm very likely to go there for the next couple years at least once or twice and I look forward to it. Here I am, a guy that holds himself out as not being able to be sold to, discerning, someone who's been through the ringer in business, doesn't like to see disasters happen, get himself taken advantage of, but I really do feel like my experience at Rhythmia was very positive. And so a lot of the questions that skeptics might have about reviews, things that have to do with doing ayahuasca and all that, hopefully this has addressed some of those. And if you really do want to go there and use the ayahuasca as a tool to better your life, be in a better position, do better, have at it. Take all the stuff you don't need, discard it, and use the rest. There's plenty of benefit waiting for you if you choose to go to this place that has the right 
kind of staff and leaders that can help you navigate your ceremony in a very safe manner.